Hello, mate. Whew. Hello, mate. You sound out of breath. What are you doing? Oh, mate, I'm training. I'm trying to lose weight, work, presentations, and now I've taken on this radio show. Listen, don't worry about it, buddy, because you're a super dad. You can do it. Super Dads, com- coming soon. Welcome back, guys, to Super Dads on 102 Pearl FM, the number one fun station in the UAE. A show produced, managed, and presented by Super Dads for, you guessed it, the unsung hero of family life, the Super Dad. Each week, we will invite a Super Dad onto the show to discuss family, careers, challenges, and life in general as a modern day superhero. And if you stick with us over the coming weeks, I can almost guarantee that you'll come out the other end a super dad as well. I'm the GSB, and I'm lucky enough to be joined by my best mate, the Keto King, Mr. Samuel Browning. Hello, buddy. How are you? Yeah, good, mate. How's you? Not too bad. I have to say, you're one of the only people I know that can wear a shirt that pink. That still salmon. look masculine. It's salmon. Salmon, lilac. No, it's no. Not, it's no, there's no dash of purple. I think it. real men wear pink. Real men can wear pink. You don't even know what colour my pants are, so let's not get onto that. <laughs> You're wearing some today. That's yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah, no commando. Oh, good. Glad to know. Sure, Otherwise, that'll, that'll be cut. That'll our, be cut. Our producers are chatting away in there, and they're not really paying attention. So we can say whatever we, we want. Can, yeah, yeah. We can say things like do do. <laughs> <laughs> if my kids are listening, they'll love that. It's no problem at all. Yeah, been a good week, mate. It's been good. Work's been busy. Yeah. Uh, getting my walks in in the morning. Um, That's good. It's starting to heat up now, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, the weather's sort of changed. That sort of like cloudy weather was getting a bit boring. Um, now the weather's good. Had a great uh, great day at the beach at the weekend. So, yeah, so this, uh, this tan is all over, baby. For those of you that don't know, check out our Instagram or Facebook page afterwards to see the photos of Gary, because in every photo I've ever taken of him, he looks as if he's uh, made out of mahogany. He's that brown. This is true, but generally when you look at those pictures, you'll realise whilst I've got my arm around a pretend shadow, because Sam's so white, he's almost transparent. <laughs> All right, well, look, let's uh, let's get straight into it with this week's potential super dad applicant. Um, this week, we're joined by Peter. Peter works for... Um, you're a star here in Dubai. He's a husband and a dad. And today we'll learn a little bit more about him and his life in the UAE and how he manages working with the responsibilities of running a very, very exciting rent-a-car business and being his family's unsung hero. As well as that, Peter is also going to dive deep and help us understand all the pros and all the cons to vehicle renting here in the UAE. Hello, Peter. So, mate, is this your first radio show? Yeah, this is my first appearance on a radio show, other than competitions. Oh, well, what have you what have you won before? So, what are some of the prizes? Um, I've won uh, the Spinney's ninety two cycle race entrance. Oh, Dubai ninety two? Yes, yeah, Dubai ninety two. We, we don't want to talk about that. There's no other radio stations, but uh, one hundred two Pearl FM around here. A, a, a road biker or a mountain biker? I'm a road biker. I don't do knobbly tyres. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that are they the other that's, side? That's a technical term. That's, that's a, a technical that's the term. dark right, side. Okay. Yes. So you're the Jedi's and they're the yeah the other ones. Yeah. The, the Siths. Siths. The Siths. Sith. Yeah. Sith. Okay, let's that go was with that. movie buffs out there. Loving it. So uh, tell us a little bit more about yourself, mate. Um, uh, fifty years old. I've been here since two thousand and two. Um, got young kids and old kids. Um, enjoying life here still after so many years. How old, are, how old are the kids? Uh, well, my daughter is 22. She's training to be a PE teacher back in the UK now. And I've got a seven-year-old and a four-year-old, who keep me honest. Wow, that's a big gap. You're sort of, you're sort of the combination of Gary and I, because Gary has older kids, and I've got younger kids. So mine are four and two, and Gary's three are... Oh, uh, 21... 20s. <laughs> Autumn Tenali, if you're listening, he did remember, I promise. <laughs> 20s. <laughs> All I know is they still cost me money. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, look, before we dive deep into this week's questions for Peter, we're going to pop for a quick break. So stay with us on Super Dads, only on 102 Pearl FM, the number one fun station in the UAE. Yeah. Mate, where are you? Oh, I'm 10 minutes away, but there is a huge line of traffic in front of me. I've got a flat tire. The police are here. I mean, there's no way through. 
We're live in five, mate. You need to make it happen. After all, you're a super dad. Super dads com- coming soon. Welcome back, guys, to Super Dads on 102 Pearl FM, the number one fun radio station in the UAE. Some may say it's the only radio station. In the world. I say it. Definitely. So it's gospel. Peter, let's get straight into it, mate. What's the car lease market looking like at the moment in the UAE? Is it a high risk market? Yeah, definitely at the moment. I mean, it's like most other markets. It's full of competition. Um, the margins are going down, so the costs are going up. Um, but, you know, there are deals to be had everywhere. So, you know, we're living in a, a smaller barrel with bigger fish. So did you get support from the manufacturer? Um, we are we are lucky because we're, we're owned by a, a, a dealership in Abu Dhabi. So we get quite a lot of support from our own brands, um, which is Volkswagen, Audi, Porsche and Skoda. Um, so we tend to do a lot of good deals on those ones. But it's like any car rental company, if you want... Uh, a Cherokee or a Jeep or a Dodge or a Toyota you know you look at Hertz first because it's in the same family yeah um, uh, Rostamani if you're looking for something that's a Nissan uh, shift leasing you know, they've all got that kind of thing thrifty tend to have to buy a lot of different cars and have a lot of different offers um, but they tend to be quite restrictive in some of the terms and conditions they have so there's plenty of things out there you just have to be careful what you're signing up for I'm sure everybody listening knows what's on the road at the moment. They see them driving every day. But you mentioned a couple of different brands there that I'm sure we've all heard of. But what's new into the market? I know off-air we were talking about some exciting stuff coming from the Far East. But in the next 12 to 18 months, what are you seeing that's going to come into your fleet and you think we might be seeing on the roads here in the UAE soon? Um, Definitely at the moment, the market is moving towards kind of crossover type vehicles. You're looking at things like the the Renault Captur, the Tiguan, the uh, the Nissan Kicks. Um, There's a new Hyundai Kona, which is kind of smallish SUVs. Um, The Kia has just come out with um, a new hybrid, same as Hyundai. And then the next step is going to be a lot more on the electric vehicles. You're going to see a lot more of the the Europeans coming over, the Leaf being launched. but the Chinese are getting very clever when it comes to the, the electric vehicles. Really? That's another project that we're looking at in the next 6 to 12 months, bringing some stuff in, um, and some other larger Chinese kind of SUV-type vehicles. I mean, what is for for what is traditionally a very oil-driven you know, region, um, what is the market like for electric, for hybrids, for, you know, that's just like you said, the, the more eco-friendly green cars here? Does it exist? It, it does. It's, it's small numbers at the moment. I mean, there are, um, I think the 2020 Expo did a deal with Nissan for 800 Leafs, I think, to take on fleet for that, that wow. period yeah. that they've got really? there. Did they I think have? it was. Yeah. Um, so there's a, there is a market there. Um, the problem in the UAE is currently that, you know, for instance, I'm not sure where you live, but if you live in an apartment block, mm-hmm. where do you put your charging station? Yeah, yeah true. I don't get it. I'm mean, honest with you. I'm old school, you know. <laughs> Go to a petrol station. Yeah. I don't I don't get it. I don't. I don't get it. So I was chatting to uh, a geezer, uh, Uber driver, right? And uh, I thought I'd splash out and spend the extra 50 dirham on a, on a Tesla. Tesla? Tesla. Tesla. And I'm chatting away with a fella at the front. I thought I'd sit in the front with you. And um, did you really? Yeah, I saw because I, I wanted to see the big. They got this massive screen. You're a man of the people, GSP. I, I am. I, you know, I think treat you cleaner like the CEO and vice versa. Um, but no, so I was sat in the front of the car with him, and he's got this huge TV screen, and he's got this. It's an amazing car. I mean, it is an amazing car. And he started ch- ch- talking about uh, when he has to charge the vehicle. And there, there aren't many places around the UAE to do it yet. And I know they want to expand because they're, they're very green and they want to be the leaders of green, etc., which is great. But it was the, the time it took to charge. And uh, his car, relatively small car, I suppose, compared to most of them on the road, it was a, f- a four-hour window to charge from empty to full. And that was like, you know, four hours out of his life gone. I, I, that's what I don't get. I don't get, I mean, I'm going to pop to the petrol station, you fill your tank up, and it takes 10 minutes and you're off. If that. I, I, so that's where I'm sort of, the, I, for me, they'd have to come up with some technology that speeds up that charging process. Is there anything out like that happening at the moment? Well, the battery technology is um, changing every day. Um, so you will get some, you'll get to a point where you'll get an extreme charge in like less than an hour. 
you okay. and you oh, can wow, probably okay. do that somewhere like an MRAT or an Enoch. You know, you can just go in, plug it in for, for 35 minutes, you know, coffee break, and you'll suddenly get a 60% battery charge. Um, there are other vehicles out there where you actually have the ability to just drive into a slot, and remotely, the system will unbolt your battery, take it away, and bolt on a new one, and off you go fully charged. And that's within about four or five minutes. Those systems are already in place in certain types of uh, electric vehicle. Um, some of the Chinese brands have them. But to some extent, I think the next five years, most of the future will be hybrid because you've got that petrol that will help keep charging it. So you've, you know, you've, you've got the longevity and a bit more of a green thing. But most of the green initiatives are being forced down by the government because they want to go green. You know, they've got to spend, I think it's 10% of their budgets on green initiative and most of that is going towards transport. Um, so, yeah, there's definitely a market here. I mean, um, most Europeans have already asked me, a lot of um, people, about this. And, and again, the, the questions come back to, okay, well, where are you? How do we do it? You know, and we're in conversation with, with DWA and a couple of other um, like companies where we're looking to do a partnership where you just take the car and everything else is done by us. So even the charging is done by us. So you have nothing else to pay. You have one month. That's what you pay. End of the story. I mean, the, the beauty of it is that if you power your car by electricity, you're talking 20, maybe 30 dirhams a charge. And that's 400, 500 kilometers worth of driving depending upon, depending upon how you're going. So, I mean, I don't know how it equates to your petrol car, but it's a huge amount of money you're going to save. I tell you, it was definitely silent. Really? Uh, it was, it is. It's unnerving because yeah. you can hear all the squeaks and the rattles from the, the build of the car, yeah. which you don't normally hear. I think he did a bit of a blow off as well. You know, when you drive a big engine, you can get away with it. But. <laughs> Especially you. Right, well, we'll cut there because I don't know where Gary's going to go with that one. We're going to go for a quick break. Um, so stay with us on Super Dads 102 Pearl FM, the number one fun station in the UAE. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. You sound out of breath. What are you doing? Oh, mate, I'm training. I'm trying to lose weight, work, presentations, and now I've taken on this radio show. Listen, don't worry about it, buddy, because you're a super dad. You can do it. Super dads com- coming soon. Welcome back, guys. I'm Sam. He's Gary. Yeah. We're joined by Peter today from Eurostar Rent a Car. It's a fantastically well rhymed name, I have to say. We're going to trademark with. that with should, uh, yeah. Gam. Hey, G- hey, if we didn't hear it already, Gam is in the building. Gary and Sam. It's our very own celebrity name. Um, <laughs> kindly, <laughs> kindly given to us by Dr. Alan Curry, if you listen to that one. Um, so bad. Hey. I like it. My, it kids sticks, call- My kids are calling me Gam. Maybe it's because they can't pronounce an S. I don't know. Um, <laughs> Your kids are calling. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it call doesn't it. progress onto Gammy. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> yeah, let's not let's not go there. But I mean, you work in a really tough market, Peter. There's, there is for anybody that Google's rent a car, there is a million and one options. But tell us a little bit more about Eurostar, the business, and how do you stand apart from you know the rest of the market out there. Um, it's, it's very hard to do. And obviously, you've got all the car rental companies, then you have the online aggregators like rentalcars.com or um, 800 Car Hire, Wiser Motors, you know, a lot of online presence. So they just pay for Google AdWords, and anyone who searches for rent a car in Dubai, that's the first thing they see. Um, at Eurostar, what we're trying to do is provide a specialist service to a certain extent. You know, we, we do a lot of European vehicles. Um, and we try to provide those to Western expats to a certain extent because you know they appreciate that little bit more quality or that little bit of service. I mean, we're not always perfect, but we you know we try to do the things we say we're going to do um, and keep that brand loyalty. You know, people keep coming back to us, uh, keep mm. renewing with us, rather than try and going out there and fighting everybody for the new business. We're just trying to make sure that we've got some good deals for our existing customers, and those customers give us more other customers. That's wicked. So, I mean, the whole point of this show is super dads and family. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um, you know, without talking yourself out of business, what do you feel is the most cost-effective way for a family to manage the family car here in the UAE? Are we talking straight lease, like I did? Sorted me out a cracking deal, thank you very much. Uh, higher purchase or just purchase outright? Um, well, there are a lot of questions before you actually get to that point. You have to decide... On a plan, how long are you going to be here for? You know, are you going to be here for a year, two years? Have you signed a five-year contract? If you're here for more than two years, I would say buy a car. Okay. 
Um, oh, really? The caveat to that will be don't buy it. Get a second-hand one that's just off the forecourt. Already had that big hit of depreciation, so you can use it for three, four years and still get a recent, reasonable return, depending on what kind of car you, you obviously buy. Um, if you're here for, like, if you're a teacher and you've signed a two-year deal, I'd lease a car. You know, just keep it going because you just don't know whether you're going to settle in properly, how the family going to settle in, you know, whether you just like the country or you don't. Mm. Um, those are the kind of decisions you need to make. So you're saying straight buy over higher purchase or, or leasing if you're, here for a long time. if you're here for a long time. But what about the hidden costs? I mean, I've, I, you know, I've been here now three years next month. Yeah, three years next month. And I've just leased. Because I like the security of the fact that if it breaks down, I just got to pick the phone up and bish bash bosh. How do you factor in the other costs when purchasing here in the UAE with regards to insurance, tire wear, uh, maintenance, all those sorts of things? How does you know what what what's what's that kind of cost to a family? Well, again, I mean, if you you go back to it, it's down to convenience, right? The UAE is all about convenience. Um, if your car breaks down and you own it, you have to deal with it. If it's a lease car, you can just pick up the phone and it gets resolved. Um, you know, you get a new car or you get a temporary car, it gets fixed, it's insured, it's registered, there are no fines involved for it. Any additional costs which the RTA seem to be adding on almost on a monthly basis for this, that or the other permit are already included in your costs unless it's a, a huge chunk and then you'll find there's a little clause in your contract that says any new uh, taxes or fees can be passed on to you yeah. um, the other side that a lot of people don't think about is the time if your car breaks down you've then got to spend all the time to take it there yep. you've then got to figure out how you're going to get to work and back or get the kids to school and back so you've got to hire another car so it's all downtime um, which if you take into the fact you know what your cost per day for you is you know hundred dollars a day two hundred dollars a day you know you then add that into the actual cost of your life of vehicle you find that there's very little difference between leasing and owning other than that at the end you know you do have an asset so you can recover something back yeah. but again depending on what vehicle you've got that could be peanuts that's really interesting yeah there's some good points there yeah, and before we go on to the next interesting point we're going to pop off for a quick break uh, stay with us on Super Dads on 102 Pearl FM. Still the number one fun radio station in the UAE. You're listening to Super Dads. Super You're Dad. so crazy. Stay tuned to 102 Pearl FM, the number one fun station in the UAE. Welcome back, guys, to Super Dads on 102 Pearl FM. Excited still to be here. The superest dads around. We are super dads, even though people are called, well, your kids are calling us Gam or you Gam. Is it us or you? It's both of us. Your Uncle Gary, they uh, love you. I am Uncle Gary here, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> please don't ever say that to my children. I always say it like that. It's kind of <laughs> not, weird. Not with that look on your face. Either. Yeah, Uncle Gary's in the house, baby. No, 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 no it doesn't. No. That wouldn't work. That please wouldn't don't. Work. I think I'd get a, uh, a dry slap from uh, from Mrs. the wife. Brown. Yes, you would indeed. So we touched earlier on the show uh, about technology and cars. Doors that open on their own and drives itself. and Touch elect screens, electric. Electric and so quiet if you do a blow off, the driver hears it. So what about the other technologies that are coming to the, the, the car leasing market? Apps, cloud stuff, what's yeah. happening? Yeah, I mean, the, the RTA are pushing towards a single mobility platform, um, which will connect everything. Um, for car rental, it's basically pushing us down towards car sharing um, and things like U-car, E-car, so the cars can be remotely turned on, turned off, uh, driven, parked anywhere, and, you know, use a mobile app just to find where the nearest car is, what the price is, and then you, know, you select that, very much like Europe and the US have already got. Um, that, there's a trial going on currently, I believe, with the RTA for a small company Who've, um, who are putting themselves into a first mover space for that. Um, and I think by the end of the year, you'll, you'll see a, a big influx, you know, where you you have a car. I mean, obviously yours is a lease car, so you can't rent it out because I'll, I'll have you. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> um, you you know, if it. you own your own car, mm. then you could actually put this on oh, the wow. app. Oh, wow, okay. And then you can rent that car out whilst you're in the office or you're away on holiday. You know, somebody wants to drive a pink Range Rover because Gary likes pink, obviously. You know, <laughs> they can rent his car for 200 dirhams a day or whatever you put on, and, and away you go. Uh, and that, that's that's where it's going. I mean, the um, the long-term leasing uh, is going to be a thing of the past. You're going to find things like um, 
you'll pay me a monthly fee and during that that period of a membership you know you can drive two or three different types of vehicles so you're not just having to drive your Yaris every day you know you can have a Corolla or a Prada or whatever, you know. Why are you telling everyone that I drive a Yaris? Jeez. <laughs> People... he's, got a, he's got a persona to carry on with. It's yeah. a symbol, isn't it? Just, oh, Yaris. Now Pablo, every... Pablo drives one. Now everyone's going to be looking for a pink Yaris driving around. Is that that, is that, that gam, bloke? Is that what you call yourself, the pink Yaris? The, the pink gam. <laughs> um, so it sounds like to me, RTA, sponsors of uh, Safe's uh, Children's Breakfast Show, uh, I've got some quite big expectations and some... Sort of bold plans. Yeah, some very very big plans. They're looking obviously to be first movers in a lot of these these kind of things. And but they do it properly. They're looking at all the safety aspects, they're looking at how all the technology works and you know how it can all be kind of put together under one roof. How do you how will that plan affect your your business? So the well, car the car of rental course it, business. It will do. I mean if I've you know, if all of a sudden there are ten, twenty thousand vehicles out there that you can rent almost anywhere in the streets. You know, my business model has to change, um, and that's part of the process we're going through at the moment. What are other opportunities? How do we do that? How do we compete with that? Or how do we just embrace that and say, let's let's go with it? So, mm, okay. Um, so obviously, a lot of us are expats here. Um, a lot of us go on holiday. We travel a lot. I don't know about you, but I like to rent a car wherever I go to explore. Um, and I've unfortunately fell foul of stuff previously, mainly by not reading the terms and conditions. But from your perspective, perhaps you could give us some top tips on what dads, when they're renting cars, because it's normally the dads renting them. Uh, not that mums wouldn't, but normally it falls down to us. What are some of the things that we should look out for? Some of the hidden things that we should be aware of or pitfalls not to fall into? Well, yeah, some of the obvious ones are if you're using the aggregators to make sure that what you're signing up for, especially for prepaid vouchers, is that you're getting the insurances that are required, you're getting the amount of kilometres that you need to drive, because a lot of people don't really think about that, they just assume unlimited, but usually the cheaper the price, it usually means there's a cap on something, um, and or higher excess insurance. Um, you know, there are a lot of companies out there where you can buy your own excess insurance, so that if anything happens, you can actually claim it back, rather than pay, you know, 10, 15, 20 pounds a day extra to the car rental company just to zero that out. Um, there are also a lot of people don't realise there are actually set charges for things like tyres replacements and stuff that a lot of the big companies have. So you can actually look on their websites and see it in their terms and conditions beforehand. Okay. If you were to burst a tyre or something, you would have to pay them to replace. Well, yes, yeah, same same as the UAE, right? Yeah, I mean, okay. you, know, you have pretty much every maintenance, but if you puncture a tyre or there's some problem, unless it's a manufacturer defect, you're liable for that cost. So what about for me? I land at Heathrow. I'll Walk on over to the car place. Sorry, for those of you that can't, the answer is <laughs> Gary, Gary, Gary just demonstrated walking for those of us in the studio that can't understand what that is. Thanks, buddy. Imagine Cockney swag <laughs> and you've got it. <laughs> so like I, I, I'm, I'm off the plane. Walking like a pink flamingo. I'm walking like a, will. a pink, gammy, Cockney, suave <laughs> type chap. A Cockney Herbert, if Who, you will. <laughs> Cockney Herbert, yes. Danny Dyer-ish, no, but no. maybe one too many burgers. <laughs> anyway, um, so I get off the plane, I walk over to uh, the chap or chapess at the, the thing, and I throw them my uh, UK driver's licence. Mistake or no? Yeah, first mistake. I mean, it's slightly grey area, I guess, but generally speaking, if you have a foreign licence and you get a parking ticket or you get a speeding fine, they generally don't chase you for it. Um, I mean, there are some, obviously, local authorities that will go after you for a parking ticket and then they can get that recovered via the car rental company because there'll be a term and condition that says you know any charges that you get you can do that I mean things like Dartford Bridge for instance if you forget to pay that and you don't inform anyone that's a 30-40 pound charge that you get um, but for things like speeding fines you know if you get a speeding ticket and you're using a UK licence hello boys you got some points why use it if you don't need to tell you what I'm well, hopefully getting back to the UK towards the end of um May and we're going to go to Cornwall so I'm going to be chuffing down that A303 doing <laughs> Mac 10 we, we, we do not condone unsafe driving though Gary do we? We don't no we don't condone it we're uh, we're very safe we're RTA approved absolutely put your seat belts on everybody if you're driving okay drive safely um, right thanks so much for that Peter incredible I hope some people have picked up some uh, some tips and tricks to remember. We're going to offer a quick break, but stay with us on Super Dads 102 Pearl FM because afterwards we're going to be playing our favourite Super Dad game. So 
You're listening to Super Dad. Super so crazy. Stay tuned to 102 Pearl FM, the number one fun station in the UAE. Welcome back, guys, to Super Dads on 102 Pearl FM, the number one fun radio station here in the UAE. Well, global as well, because we do have fans around the world. I've got a mate of mine who lives in Hailing Island that listened to Where? one of the sh- Hailing Island. Where's that? In the UK. It's near the southeast, sort of Southampton, Portsmouth way. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. We've also got fans in Korea, Australia, the States. Check on out on our Instagram. The, pa- the post that we put up, the picture of uh, us announcing the first thing, has over 500 likes from all over the world. Really? Yep, I was blown away by that. I haven't even looked yet. That's yeah. pretty- you haven't even liked it. That's true. Can't like, <laughs> can't like yourself, can you? It's a bit hey, like if you don't like yourself, who will like you? Eh? That's true. That's, that's too true. deep for us. Anyway. That's true. There's other directions I can take liking <laughs> yourself as well. But um, anyway, we're we'll, we're back, guys, for the best part of the show, in my opinion. Um, it's time for Super Dad Question Time. time, 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 time. Woo! Okay, this. Is where we really di- get down to the nitty gritty, Peter. Okay, the this really, is what's going to set you apart. The really unimportant stuff. <laughs> yeah, the really, really unimportant stuff. Um, quick fire round, ten questions off the top of your head, so that we can get to know you a little bit better. Okay. So, favorite film? Rambo. Which one? The original. Oh, nice, nice. That's such a first blood. It's an amazing. Movie. Great film. Yeah. Great Amazing movie. Favorite sports team? Any sporting team? Manchester United. Get in! Oh god. Da, da, da. Uh, favorite restaurant in Dubai? Chilies. I oh, nice. like a good. You rate the chilies? chilies. Yeah, like I've nice, never had a chilies. Nice Have beef, you not? Beef no? ribs and some uh, fajitas, or and yeah. you know, the kids always get the little chicken nuggets. No matter where you go, anyway. So yeah. Okay. No? Nice. Loving that. Loving that. We should go. It's nice. Okay. We'll do a chilies. Uh, guilty pleasure. The song you sing to yourself in the shower. That would be wonderful. Oh, by Oasis, okay. Do you like put your head up to the shower thing and like... Yeah, like, drown myself. <laughs> 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 um, Favourite child? Whichever one gives me their chocolate. Good answer. Have we not had that answer before? Actually, That's I a thought really you, good one. I like that. I thought you were going to say whichever one gives me their most love. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, chocolate Getting deep first. again. Chocolate. Chocolate, yeah, chocolate, always before, chocolate, buddy. chocolate before love, baby. <laughs> Can't you tell? <laughs> The uh, best meal your wife cooks? She does a lovely chicken lasagna. Lasagna's chicken. come up a couple of times. It had, but not chicken not lasagna. Chicken. That's interesting. She doesn't eat red meat, so we get chicken meat. So what? It doesn't, so she doesn't eat red meat, so it's okay. chicken or fish. How do you cope with that? Well, well, being vegan, barbecue, it? you know, have a good steak or some beef burgers then. So but you're allowed? Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I was getting worried then. Yeah, but, <laughs> you know, 90% um, isn't. Safe or magic film? It's drive time or breakfast. Safe. Oh, yeah, good he knew. He, knows. he was. He was he playing one of us. He's with us. Everyone loves safe. Everyone's at work in the afternoon. Yeah, true. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, I just banged my mic. I thought it made a noise. Did it make a noise, Pablo? Don't cut. It's okay. We we'll can keep, keep going. going. No, we're we can, professionals. We can ad lib. Is that even how you say it? Should be an ad lib. You can. We can even ad lib. <laughs> <laughs> Ab lib. Wasn't that an exercise? Okay. An ab lib. I don't know. It's, I don't a, know what it it's is. a stretch. Uh, best holiday destination? Um, we've just come back from Sri Lanka and that was quite Ooh, an adventure. Nice. Elephants and whale yeah. watching, etc. Um, so, yeah, I'd say probably that one at the moment. I'd like to go back there and do the further up north. And uh, Tea or coffee? Tea. Okay. Straight with milk, sugar? Milk, no sugar. PG tips. Always, I like that. It's good. I like a bit of Yorkshire gold. I need that builder thing going. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't really see that Yorkshire thing. <laughs> I, need, I need to uh, put my spoon in and it Stand not move. It up. Builders tea, proper yeah. builders tea. Proper. Zach, you haven't taken the tea bag out. <laughs> I, I, leave, I do. I leave it in there. You just dug it in. I leave it in there. I love it. Okay, big question. Favorite Super Dad presenter? <laughs> well, it's got to be Gary. Come on! Oh. Every week! Well, at least till it's Sam defi- rents a car. It's yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. defi- defi- oh, okay. I see where we're going. Then. Money talks, people. Well, well, Gary, top 10 answers there. He's given us a lot of information about the market here. Renting a car, he's helped you out, so I'm fairly confident I know what your thoughts are. Listen, he did me such a touch, such a deal, that he didn't have to come on the show. He's still a super dad, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's no point of us even voting then, really. Not 50% Peter, in. You're a super dad. 
Thank you, guys. What an absolute pleasure it's been having you on the show today. Um, do you want to tell the uh, tell the listeners how can they get hold of you? Where can they where can they find you? How can they get um, in touch? Well, we obviously have the website, which is www.eurostarrental.com. Um, uh, just find us that way. Okay, we can post up your uh, the details as well after the show on our Instagram, so you can find them there. Obviously, you can follow us at Super Dads DXP. I get very excited when I see we have new followers and I get very sad when we lose them. So please keep clicking and obviously follow the number one fun station in the UAE. He's been Gary. I've been Sam. That's been Peter. Pablo's in the box. And the way he's going today, I'm definitely not letting him out. Keep it here, 102 Pearl FM. And in my bestest radio voice, safe driving, Dubai. Super Dad. Super so Dad. crazy. Stay tuned to 102 Pearl FM, the number one fun station in the UAE.